But actually, that was the whole point. We really wanted something which was old, something which had some character, and something which was a little different. Whenever people come, they talk about it. Don't be fooled by their vintage look. This furniture was intentionally designed by Allen in this way. Aren't they a perfect match for a townhouse which boasts such a long history? I have a young family, and frankly, having two kids jumping around on your furniture, even you don't want the weather-beaten look, you're going to get it anyway. So I thought I would start by designing it in that way so that even the kids jump around and spill their juice and write with their crayons on everything, it still doesn't really affect. In fact, it just adds more character to the furniture we have. Working in Asia for more than 20 years, Alan is a successful businessman. At work, he's busy running the famous Three on the Bun complex. But when he returns home, he's a loving husband and a devoted father. After working with various artists, Alan has become extremely interested in Shanghai's vibrant art scene. You can always find many paintings sitting in his room. Alan collects artwork in a rather special way. He usually surfs on the internet or flips through magazines to find them. So over time, he has managed to fill his house with different artwork and ornaments. So it's really a place of a lot of warmth and uh, it's a place where I enjoy spending my weekends. A loving husband, a devoted father, a DJ, and an art lover. This house is a true reflection of Alan's personality and interests. Luxurious yet comfortable, simple yet elegant. This is a dream home for Alan and his family. Get inspiration for your home deco from Southeast Asian culture. So these are hand weaved with a plant in Indonesia. Hello, I'm Miss Aikan. 大家好，我是林心凌。心凌，我是刘根红，我是任贤。我是哪位？我是秦南。Jackie Chung。我是王大家能够多多的关注。City people like to decorate their homes with a Southeast Asian way. The Southeastern Home Deco represents hundreds of years of culture and also the Hundi craftsman spirit. Today, Viviana visits a store that is filled with Southeast Asian Home Deco. Tucked away in a nook of Taikan Lu's art oasis, Harry Rabu caught my eye with its exotic appearance. When I took a closer look, I found some elaborate displays filled with housewares and accessories from Southeastern Asia mainly Thailand, Indonesia, and Nepal. I found out that these items can really make the extraordinary out of the ordinary in your home deco. These lovely handmade instruments at the corner of the shop strongly attracted my attention. Something like these will definitely heat up the atmosphere at a home party. Weaving skills play an important part in all the Southeastern Asian culture. However, these traditional arts and crafts do not use any precious or special material. Plain wheat could also be used to create nice deco. So these are hand weaved with a plant in Indonesia called Atai. They're pretty strong. It is said that you can use these for 50 years and they won't fall apart. So this is a napkin box and we have a picnic box here. Oh, oh and this is a photo frame and it's also very environmentally friendly. Where are you from? 
I'm from Australia, but I live in Seoul in Korea. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that why you're here? Try to look for more Southeastern Asian style home decor? Uh, partly, yeah. I'm looking for gifts and uh, just checking out Shanghai. Um, visiting a friend. Uh, Indonesia has a big influence on Australia. Uh, there's many Indonesians there, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Okay. What's the current style of your home? Well, it's uh, pretty bare at the moment because I just moved into a new house. Uh, things from other parts of Asia, such as Indonesia and uh, India. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys from? We're yeah, from Japan. Or what are you looking for? We're looking for some souvenirs mm -hmm. for my family. Well, from my grandfather. So you like this type of style? Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. Okay. So would you like buy the Southeastern Asian style decoration to put in your current home? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So you like to mix stuff? Yeah, like lights or mm -hmm. some accessory. Oh. 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 Because the weather in Thailand is very hot or Indonesia, so they use these to keep their food away from the flies. 不过我们现在其实也可以就是就是上海人我觉得放面包挺好的对对对对对还可以放什么早餐的时候有些买这个小的可以放首饰之类的就像一条一条搭了起来对对对 You can definitely be creative about these baskets You can put your jewelries in You can put snacks in uh, What else? Anything Harry Rabu also owns a shop overflowing with Southeastern Asian style Thai silk has been considered a very premium Asian art and fabric. You can usually find Thai silk in high-end pillows and oriental rugs. But here, we found some everyday use scarves. That's wonderful. It feels really comfortable. This could be a great idea as premium gift. Girls are always too greedy for their own wardrobe. Getting a unique Thai silk scarf seems not enough to me. How about getting a whole suit of Thai garments? These pants are used for fishermen in Thailand. But I can wear it for a carnival party. What do you think? 